in true AGI as well as Rejuve Biotech, possibly, possibly Zarka, Gem Galaxy, other projects. After the alpha, we will start working on integrating Hyperon into different applications, which I think we we ourselves will be able to do based on the alpha code, although the beta will be a major threshold in terms of it being you know, more accessible for third parties to build build applications on. So I'm, I'm looking forward in 2024 to the, the next stage in terms of us being able to use Hyperon behind some cool reference applications. Democratizing access to crypto generated wealth is the cypherpunk ideal and we're living it at Singularity Net. And then going into 2024, I'm most looking forward to the BGI conference. Obviously, many other highlights I could mention, but taking forward ethical artificial general intelligence and being a world leader in AI ethics, safety, regulation, beneficial is just a dream come true for me as a, as a risk regulation and technology professional. So that's my one favorite of this year, my one favorite for next year. We are now already doing some stuff, not uh, everything, but some stuff uh, we struggled uh, to do with OpenCock Classic. And uh, uh, we are uh, feeling like uh, we are doing it uh, in the right way. So uh, it's uh, really great uh, to have uh, this uh, uh, feeling from uh, our own uh, uh, not a product, but uh, a work in progress. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, I'm uh, looking uh, towards the new year uh, for the Hyperon uh, to uh, be much further and uh, other people uh, uh, starting using it uh, and so on. And uh, of course, we have uh, a lot of plans. Uh, uh, there are so many plans that uh, I'm afraid not uh, all of them uh, will be uh, implemented, uh, but uh, in any case, uh, uh, it was an uh, important uh, uh, decision to uh, start moving towards uh, uh, the platform DSL in Meta and it will open doors uh, uh, to the use of uh, uh, Hyperon as a sort of uh, wrapper or Meta service uh, uh, for all the services on the platform, uh, which actually uh, this idea was uh, in the initial white paper, but uh, uh, we uh, have uh, never been there on a technical level. And right now we can clearly see how it can be implemented uh, in a natural way. So it will not be uh, just something artificial, but uh, uh, something natural, which uh, uh, we hope uh, to get uh, during the next year. Hyperon is actually coming along beautifully. It's a very elegant and forward-looking system that I think will propel us forward. But there have been two words that have resonated in my mind lately, uh, which are emergence and convergence. And I guess that this is the, the words that I'm looking forward to next year and, and years after, hopefully only next year if we succeed, um, which is once this incredible hyper on infrastructure is at an alpha beta level, we can begin really experimenting on these big ideas to get these emergent behaviors. And everything about the way that, that uh, OpenCog Hyperon is coming together in amazing and unexpected ways. You know, Greg Meredith and his Firefly rolling technology and, and Rachel at, at Stimuli and Meta's happening and, and the distributed atom source, uh, atom space is happening. and. And Raju Bio, the the um, bio atom space is starting to be the use case and get picked up, and we're making progress in the longevity department. Um, and and so that's all coming together. And, and OpenCog Hyperon is is why I joined. Right, my 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 own pet project is building on OpenCog, so I'm very much looking forward to having a developer community out there who can who can help my own experiments as an AI 
hobbyist are insufficient. Um, but then beyond that, we've had the decentralization efforts that are all coming together. Esther uh, and, and our, our new supervisory council coming together to form the, uh, uh, to be part of the task force and, and, and actually de decentralize SingularityNet according to the original mission, decentralizing from the inside out, decentralizing our, our leadership processes. The synergy of the amazing people who have join singularity net uh raphael has been amazing and and everything the deepest on this year with with yarn um rodeon helping uh sergey nate's team come together and 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 get organized around everything everything that they're doing albina and the way that she's shown up this amazing blockchain leader and then our our new executive team members uh alex bagheera luik of course <laughs> my my uh my luik we made a huge step forward for uh, bringing layer three idea mm -hmm. and knowledge graph, which I believe. And of course, there's a lot of things to do to create and deliver this trajectory of the movement of uh, uh, AJX. And I think it's not only part of my work, but also it will represent the, the team results because like everyone from marketing till product um, and management is uh, can be the part of it because like uh, itself, it's uh, the continuation of everyone's efforts. And um, I hope the next year we will take our uh, distinctive niche in the Web3 industry as infrastructure uh, provider for uh, comparable with the chain analysis, uh, like will that will leverage the infrastructure for large language models uh, on the Web3 market. And I'm really impressed uh, how we are growing with deep funding and how the community is growing with us and um, how the number of uh, proposals and awarded teams uh, has been growing. And that leads also uh, to next year. So um, we, are, we, we have some really exciting things coming up. Um, for me, the most exciting things also chief product officer, our new product there, it will be our new platform. So we're transitioning away from platform to our new platform for deep funding and really looking forward to that. Um, looking forward to the first round and looking forward to all the new features that we have in our mind that we want to uh, put up there. And also from a governance uh, per, uh, perspective, we're scaling uh, deep funding out. We're not hiring internal team members, but we are working with the community. I think we just accumulated a lot of a lot of stuff on the platform and it will be like the burst in the beginning of the next year in, in technology because we'll, we will move with a really fast pace and we are done with staking. That was like a huge milestone, not, uh, not, not that easy to finish. But uh, I would say we are over right now. We are totally over with all the legacy uh, transition and the next year will be just marvelous. The biggest achievement maybe that we completed the team this year. We, we have such such a beautiful team right now. We always were moving on full cylinders, but now we have all we have more cylinders. We have like full <laughs> full suit of cylinders. Uh, so that's that was that was great to meet person in person, Luik and Alex Bliger. I'm so happy uh, that Rachel uh, joined the team and also. Uh, Keller. So <clears throat> right now we have like the full scope of, of, of professionals working all together on great achievements we are going to get this next year. The most highlight of the year was the understanding that when ideas and products are truly strong, intelligent, with a powerful and proactive team, then any difficulties no longer cause horror, but only confidence in overcoming them. And basically, I feel we feel it totally with Kadana Seikin because I think that Singularity Net came to our lives with such a strong things like Kadana blockchain, Kadana Staking, preaching its platform stuff. It is different solutions we have to support, and it was so many technologies, so many new things like Happy Cycle, Nunet, and lots of others. And that is only blockchain part. It's even difficult to imagine what's going on with AI because like it's so huge. 
And I think that's the biggest highlight for us that we can overcome everything and we're just waiting for new ideas and new cosmic like spaceships that we can construct and try to be live with. So thanks so much for that. And we will try to go forward and develop nice and cool things together. 2023 has been a remarkable year, but as a futurist, I'm going to make an easy prediction, which is 2024 is going to be even more remarkable, not just because of what the team here is doing, not just because of what their partners are doing, but the world is waking up as never before to the possibilities of AI and to the threats of big tech running things. I do a lot of consulting. I talk to people about AI and this year, 2023, as never before, people are engaging. They are really coming forward in their seats. They want to know not just what can they do now, but what is AI going to do in the near future? And by the way, they often ask me, hey, do you know there's a robot that's being made a citizen of Saudi Arabia or something? Hey, there's a robot that sings pop songs. And I can say, yeah, actually, I know the people who made that robot. And people are worried. And people are worried about the role of big tech. And more people are saying, there's got to be a better way. And not just to shut it down, not just to flow with big tech, but looking for something better. And this is the year that Singularity Net and all the community can come into the public's mind as never before. How's it going to turn out? I can't tell you the answers, but there are encouraging signs. 